Steval, one of the biggest prospects Brazil has produced since Neymar, or overhyped talent. Capturing the attention of football fans globally, Steval has everyone talking about his mercurial talents. He's been labelled the Messi of Brazil, and his coach Abel Ferreira said that he's unlike anything he's seen before. Even Neymar has labelled him a genius. So, does he have the capacity to surpass Neymar and reach the level of the greats? Or is he just being overhyped? So let's have a deep look at Steval and his talents. Hey, attention, que se viene, salió Malboca y se viene con la pelota Estebao y Piero y tiene el empate, lo tiene Estebao adentro, Tanis, Estebao, la individual, tiró gol. Alongside Luis Guilherme and Hendrik, Estebao is another talented individual coming from the Palmeiras Academy. After making a significant contribution for the Palmeiras in the 17s, where he scored 23 goals in 34 games, Estebao then featured in two Copinha campaigns where he was able to once again show how good he is. And at the end of last year, he competed in the Under-17 World Cup where he made a significant contribution. Since then, he's been used regularly for the first team where he started to really add goals and contributions to his name and now is an important member of the first team. So let's take a look at what makes this young talent so special and areas for improvement. Having only just turned 17 this year, Stevao is still slender and quite thin in his frame. However, he's light on his feet, which means he can move very quickly. Therefore, he can run and sprint over long distances rapidly. However, it's his agility and his ability to change direction quickly, which is his real selling point. He's able to use his body lightly to shift in and out of spaces and move around the defenders. And despite his light frame, he is able to hold off challenges with his back to them. However, in 1v1 contest duels, he may get pushed off the ball easily. Steval typically hugs the line and looks to cut in, facing up his defender so that he can create space for a shot or a cross. He can also drift inside off the ball and make unsighted movement where he's able to pick up the ball around the penalty area and work space for a shot or assist. In construction, he can drop deep. However, his first thought is always to take the man on, which in some occasions works, but others may leave his team vulnerable if he loses the ball. And when his team are on the attack, he tends to hook the touchline and play on the shoulder of the last defender, where he's able to work space and come inside, look for overlaps, and also cut in to take a shot. Because of his speed, his directness, his quick feet, and his ability to break the press, he's used in transition to help get his team further up the pitch and immediately onto a counter-attack. The Messi comparisons came about due to his ridiculous ability in 1v1 situations. He has the capacity to go on the inside, the outside, due to his quick feet, his shift of gears, and his all-round skill and unpredictability that make him a bit of a nightmare to pick up. As you can see, he draws fouls very well, he twists and turns defenders, and he can slalom in between defenders, workspace for passes, assists, shots. He has the lot when it comes to dribbling, and this is his one superior area of his ability. And this allows him to go on slalom runs where he takes out two, three, or four players before he's able to work in space for a shot or a cross. He often faces up defenders and keeps him guessing whether he's going to go inside or outside with his step overs and roll overs. This causes a lot of panic for defenders. You can see here he's hooked the touchline to workspace, face the defender up and take them on. And the more game time that Steval sees is the more chance for him to refine his technique and start to add some end product in terms of crosses. His ability to actually beat a man and end with a shot. In this case, he takes on the defender, cuts inside and almost scores. And even his link-up play is showing remarkable signs of progress as he drops in to help his teammates out. Stevao is a constant menace to defences. He's able to get into the spaces in between and around the back of the defence. And he's adding cutbacks and crosses of more significance to his game. Here he takes on players and just drops the ball back for his teammate to finish. In this instance, he's quick to the danger, able to pick up the ball, try to cut back for his teammate. And also he's able to whip in deep crosses with a lot of swerve and direction on them, inviting his teammates to come and head the ball into the goal. Because he hugs the line in this way, he's able to work the space with his quick feet and whip in deadly balls. 
Over time, these balls are going to improve with the frequency he hits them, and he should start to see more assists to his game here from a deeper range, almost reaching the target. A genuine goal threat from in and around the penalty area. Steval's speciality is driving the ball into the goal. He's able to do that with placement, power and precision. Here he just lashes the ball in the goal. He can use his weaker foot well as well. And he's also developed a knack of arriving at the back post to finish off long crosses over the top. Here he just nips around the back, uses quick feet to finish and then show his ability with heading as well. And of course, he can smash balls in like this. Sobra do Estevão. A movimentação do Luigi. Ele recebe. Tá... Steval can show a relatively high level of football IQ. He tends to make unsighted runs, normally sticking to the width and then cutting at the right moment. Here he just times his run perfectly off the back of the defender. Showing smart movement to running behind from a free kick. And here he just switches sides and shows that he's able to also use space and time on the left hand side to get in behind. Here he shows good spatial awareness of his teammates runs. Without panicking he plays the ball quite simply. Again here he's got a keen eye for a through ball. Execution needs a bit of work but he is spotting his teammates runs and the space that they're moving into so this does show a level of IQ and understanding his teammates movements. Because Stevao is so driven toward goal, it can lead to moments where he has a bit of tunnel vision and he fails to make the right decision, fails to release the pass or even just move the defender so that he can release his teammate. On this occasion, he picks up the ball in a good space and has two potential options, but just decides to go alone and not really have any conviction behind what he does. And he's then guilty of just hanging onto the ball too long. In this moment, the space opens up for him to drive into, but he cuts back inside and just hangs onto it too long before trying the pass which isn't actually on. And there are moments where his exuberance just gets the better of him. Here he has two men to beat, but he tries to go past both of them when there's not actually any space behind. And there are occasions where instead of choosing a one-two, he tries to take it on himself and loses the ball. Here he just overhits the pass, so some technique refinement is needed with his passing. And here he just gets overpowered on the ball and outmuscled, which will come with time, surely. <laughs> So at such a young age, with all the talent he has, and having shown what he's capable of in such a short space of time, even for the first team of Palmeiras, we can genuinely say that this is a phenomenal talent. And Chelsea have picked up a genuine wonder kid phenomenon. However, there are some aspects that he needs to fine tune so that he can realise his true ability and go on to become one of the world's best. As we've seen many times, talents sometimes explode onto the scene but then fail to live up to the hype that surrounds them. Having proven himself in Serie A in Brazil, he certainly has a lot of justified hype around him. And for the time being, he will stay at Palmeiras where he's comfortable in his environment and can develop some aspects of his game. And that may be able to help him adapt to the Premier League and life in England much easier. As I believe some of these areas for improvement would actually hinder him in England and make his transition much more complicated. So please tell me what you think. I'm interested to know how you feel about Stevao. Is this a genuine wonder kid talent that Chelsea have on their hands? Is Chelsea the right move for him? Should he have moved to them in the Premier League? Also, how will he be for Selecao? Can he surpass Neymar? He's got a long journey ahead of him. Can he be better than Neymar has been in the latter stages of his career? Certainly. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.